All right, welcome back. The time is 615 on this Wednesday. Weather alert. Let's go to meteorologist Byron Miranda. Yeah, you know, we've got that weather alert, guys, because uh, we could see some snow and that could mess up the roads. And so we'll talk about that right now outside. You see the skies are cloudy at this point, but a beautiful backdrop, right? We have the greatest skyline in the world right here in New York. Greatest people in the tri-state looking for real snow. Now we saw some flurries yesterday. So that was pretty much the first snow that we've seen close up Jersey and the boroughs. But you see north and west over towards Pennsylvania. You see this now approaching. This is what we call a little clipper system. The clipper system means it's a quick mover. Although it may take a little bit of time to get here. So watch this. This is this morning at 10. And then we're starting to get closer. And it says, ah, I don't know. I'm not getting, I'm not getting towards the boroughs. I'm then getting into a close up Jersey or through Westchester. Uh, and then by, say, 4 o'clock, we're at around 39 degrees. It shows you rain. This I disagree with uh, because even though the temperature is going to be around 38, 39, 40 degrees, depending on where you are in the tri-state, uh, it looks like the dew point will remain below freezing. As long as you have a dew point temperature below 32, 32 or below, you'll get snow. So if this materializes this afternoon, it would be a mess for the commute and it would be snow sticking to the ground. Uh, well, not sticking to the ground because we're going to be around 38, 39 degrees, but it could be a mess uh, during the afternoon. That's why we have the weather alert just to alert you. Eh, it's best uh, best case scenario is that we don't see much of anything. Worst case scenario is you may have some delays on the roads. We are losing sunlight, you know, from the summer solstice at June 20th. You know, when you talk about boy, we got a lot of sun where well, you actually have 15 hours of sun. By the autumnal equinox, which is uh, fall, September 22nd, we're down three hours. And then now, through the 21st, we're around nine hours of sunlight. That's why the temperatures are cooler at this time of year. Your temperatures at this hour, we're in the low 30s, low 30s. You factor in the winds, and you have a wind chill of 27 for Sunnyside, 26 Livingston. Uh, Scarsdale is 30 degrees. So no matter where you are this morning, wherever you see me or hear me, yeah, you have to bundle up again. Kids, listen to your parents. So today we're still in the freezer, and that's because the jet has dipped south. The jet is nothing but a door or a window to the cold air and warm air. If it is south of us, that is allowing that colder air to invade us from, yep, Canada. So your temperatures today are going to be where they were yesterday, somewhere around 24 to 28 degrees. I checked some of the observations last night, and all day we were somewhere between 24 to 28. So we're going to go with that again today. But look at the ridge. Jet Street, the door of the jet stream is now closing to Canada and opening up to the south, and that's going to heat us up. We're going 57 on Saturday, 57 degrees. 57, uh, that, that's going to feel pretty good, I believe. 28 today, 50 tomorrow is wind shift. That's the key, opening the door of the warmth of the Gulf of Mexico by Friday, 51. And Marissa, Saturday, looks like it might be the warmest day at 57. 